Today we're going to be doing a little bit of food illustration and there may be an opportunity for you to get a recipe too. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. If you're new here, my name is Paige. I'm the chief pixel pusher and paintbrusher over at Gumption. And today I'm going to be painting one of my favorite dishes that my mom used to make. I've decided for 2020, I'm going to embark on this project that I am hopeful to complete this year. That is a cookbook with family recipes and not just any family recipes, favorite family recipes that really say holidays, mom, and family. This idea kind of grew after we were watching the British Bake Off show. You know that show, it's, it's so great really. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. Um, and all those great illustrations that come with the concoctions that the cooks make. And I decided, you know, hey, I could do that too. I'd love to illustrate a cookbook with food from my family. Also, my mom passed away seven years ago and she was a phenomenal cook and I don't have a lot of her recipes that she made on a regular basis and I kind of kicked myself that I didn't cook with her more. So I have a handful of recipes that are family recipes that I am making at holidays that she made at holidays and I thought that was such a great resource for the rest of our family as well. And so I'm trying to get my other family members on board so they can contribute some of their favorite recipes and I'm hopeful that it, like I said, it will happen by the end of this year. So today we're going to illustrate one of my favorite dishes for my mom, Romanoff potatoes. And I'm pretty sure she got this recipe from my grandmother, my dad's mom. So it just makes it all that much more special. Without further ado, let's get started. The last time I made this dish, I took a picture for reference. And then I also took a picture of the dish itself. Uh, how I wanted it situated for this particular illustration so I can make sure I had the light correct. I used them for my reference for my drawing, which I did in Procreate, and then I printed it out so I could transfer it to my watercolor paper. Here you can see my process for transferring this. This is pretty low, lo-fi. I'm using a General's pencil here, which has a lot of lead that will transfer really nicely. I tape it to my paper and then I use a hard pencil to transfer it. You can use ballpoint pen if you so choose. And every so often I lift the paper to make sure that it's transferring because I have done this where it didn't transfer correctly. So this illustration was a pretty easy little illustration. I mixed together sodalite and neutral tint to kind of create this gray color for the bottom of the dish and around the lip area. And I did this kind of in stages, so I sort of glazed through this, what I call glazing. Just doing layers of color. Just trying to define the dish enough so you can kind of discern that there's a little lip there. My mom served these potatoes in this dish every time we had a holiday. They were definitely a family favorite and have become a favorite in my little family as well. So I'm creating a shadow here. Everything has a shadow and it grounds that piece just a little bit just because we are doing this as a one-off illustration. And I'm using Sodalite for that shadow itself so it's kind of a bluer color. going in, adding some cheese, giving a little more brightness to these yellow cheesy potatoes. I'm using Indian yellow here. I think I'm also using a quinacridone gold. Mix 
Next, I'm adding the green onions with a little bit of sap green. You can mix a green out of yellow and blue if you like. I really like sap green and it was pretty easy just to put in there. Adding a few more details and dimension to this simple illustration. Working to add a little bit more depth to this dish. Because we do have some really good shadows in the picture that I took of the dish itself. Just kind of outlining this too. Wouldn't necessarily normally do that, but because this is on a white background, I'm defining it a little bit more. A quick and easy illustration for my very first image for my book. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more of my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell there next to it and you'll be notified when I have new videos out. Uh, if you have favorite recipes that you love that mean family and home to you, go ahead and put them in the comments. Just the name of whatever your favorite recipe is. I think others might enjoy that as well. I'll be posting that recipe in Patreon as a perk for my subscribers. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, I'll see ya.